Surrounding culture greatly influences typeface designs. Fashion, technology, and design trends frequently weave their way into contemporary typefaces. This is most common in decorative typefaces used in time-sensitive media like magazines, TV, and the web. Quirky subcultures and extreme design styles often take time to influence mainstream media and type design. Subcultural type often has an urban, highly expressive look. One example is today's common use of flowing, organic flourishes to decorate type, a style that came from independent illustrators several years ago. It's now found its way into popular TV spots, magazine designs, and commercials. Woodblock type was often used to create posters in the mid-19th century, and the technology itself influenced the design of the type. Letters were large and bold. The woodblocks couldn't accommodate exceptionally fine print, but it was very easy to customize them and to add ornamentation to them. The Bauhaus and other European cultural influences came to the U.S. just before World War II. Sans serifs, negative space, and asymmetric layouts made their way into type design. This was not without some conflict, however, as these seemingly simple concepts were experimental and radical at the time. Revival or retro typefaces draw direct influence from typefaces of the past, for example, scripts from the Middle Ages, rustic woodblock serifs, and 1950s modern sans serifs. Often when reviving an old typeface, the designer needs to add characters that weren't used in the original, such as certain punctuation marks.